Alright, let's take a look at Exodus, Fabulous, Disaster, and this using E standard tuning. Right, and the intro riff. Right, it's basically something like that, and uh, you can. It's kind of an acrobatic little riff there with your other fingers there, uh, but basically that's it. Uh, the important thing here is to you know have a little short breaks between some of the notes that you're playing. So like the first chord in each bar is kind of a you know, short uh, chord, and then the other two are a bit longer, but. But yeah, you can hear it on the recording how they how they uh, phrase all the chords. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the intro riff. Uh, if you want to play the backing uh, chords instead, I have written them above the tab. So you basically gonna open with the F sharp chord, right? And then you're gonna go free open E, and then C chord, right? And then you're gonna go. V open again and then you're gonna hit D5 over A which is 5, 5 and 7 uh, bottom to top and then the final bar, uh, final chords are A5 and then G going to F sharp alright so all together it'll be like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, the first two lines and you're gonna play them three times and uh, yeah and then the final line is yeah, the same thing as the first line but then you at the very end you're gonna add the D power chord and then A to G all right okay and uh, remember that you know, the second time you're gonna play this intro uh, which you're gonna do after the first chorus uh, after the solos sorry uh, you're gonna play those two lines uh, the first two lines only twice, okay, before you go to the final line. Uh, so remember that intro, play them three times, uh, and then after the solos, you play those two lines twice. All right, and then for the main riff, so to speak, here. Okay, so that's the first time if you play it a bit slower. Okay, so that's basically the kind of the main riff that you're gonna play three times. And uh, you know, make sure to uh, know what your right right hand is doing here because it's it's really fast. And uh, so you know, have a plan on how you're gonna pick all those notes. I basically, you know, if you watch my right hand, I pick it like this. And uh, yeah, faster, right? And uh, so that's the yeah, that's the main riff. I think the trickiest part of it is the first uh, two beats, is, uh, because it's going so fast, and you're gonna really have to uh, you know nail all the notes uh, rhythmically, all right? And what follows there is uh, kind of a bit simpler, so. Right, so that's the first line, and the second line, uh, the first two bars are exactly the same as the the ones in the first line, uh, and then the final two bars in the second line. Right, and that is you know obviously connected to the next riff which we have on the next side, uh, so it's gonna be this. Right, and you're gonna play this thing uh, three, uh, four times. Sorry. Uh, so the first three times you're gonna have the ending shown in bar four, and then the fourth time you're gonna end on this short F sharp power chord, right? Instead. 
All right, so uh, a bit slower for the thrift then. Right, and that would be it for this riff. So, uh, <laughs> if you find this riff, you know, complicated, you know, take it slowly at first, uh, and that goes obviously for the previous riff, which also is kind of tricky. Um, okay, so after those uh, first three slides, we finally gonna come to the verse, and uh, yeah, so this riff here is basically the same as before uh, on the previous slide. Only you know the final bar here in the first time. Instead of speed picking, we just doing you know, eight notes instead. Uh, so again, you're gonna play this riff four times, uh, but you're gonna have different endings. So the first three times you play the first line, right? And then for the fourth time you're gonna play this. Okay, so you play the first two bars and then you play the final line. Alright, and uh, for the chorus part... Uh, okay, you're gonna have this and you're gonna play this, uh, play this thing three times. Uh, well, actually four times, but three times uh, the way it's shown here. And uh, it's also one of those uh, riffs that's kind of tricky, even if it doesn't look like <laughs> like like it, like it is. Uh, but uh, this little run here is, I for, at least for me it was a little tricky at first because I would hit third uh, instead of hitting the second uh, fret for the final note. I would hit the third fret and uh, yeah, kind of messed up my playing, but <laughs> I got it sorted out eventually. Um, but basically, yeah, that's the chorus riff here. Um, so you play the side three times, and then you play the first line one more time, right? And then instead of playing the second line, you're gonna go to the next slide and end on this, all right? So uh, if you if you kind of connect it to the to the first line, the previous slide. Right, so that be this. And then the second line, you know, is the same riff as we played before. That we're gonna play this three times and then and then this. And we already had this riff played, I think he was second slide or first slide. Uh, so we already got that covered and uh, right after this uh, we're gonna have the guitar solos and the, the backing riffs for those are uh, for both solos are the same, okay? And actually the um, the first line on the slide is the same as the second line, so you basically repeat those two lines uh, um, for both solos, alrighty? And uh, yeah, if you look at the first half of the riff, yeah, the same as uh, same riff as before, right? the so-called main riff uh, that you play three times but then the ending is a bit different than we used to play it's gonna be this all right so it was like this so yeah a little slightly different ending for this uh, riff when it comes to solo backing uh, parts all right so that's the solo parts, uh, and uh, finally, so as I said, after the second guitar solo, you're gonna go back to slide one, you know, play the intro riff again, and remember, play those first two lines just twice this time, and then, uh, uh, and then right after that, uh, first slide, you're gonna go to slide three, alrighty, remember that. And then starting from slide three, play through the verse and chorus. And at the end of the chorus, remember you had this. Right, you had this, and then you're gonna connect it to this slide here, so. Right, and that will be it. 
That's a fabulous disaster by Exodus. Have fun with that.